today we are going to solve per the percent proportion using cross multiplication. This is very new for you, so pay close attention, okay? You've never seen this before, okay? So the percent proportion, I'm just going to write it over here. The percent proportion is percent over 100. equals the is number, or the part, over the of number, or the whole, okay? So the is is the part, and the of is the whole, okay? Now, when I'm talking about part and whole, this is a fraction, right? Okay, so for example, I'm just going to use three-fourths as an example. We have three-fourths. Now, if I draw this picture, there I have my circle. It's broken into pieces, right? Here, how many pieces make up the whole? How many? Uh, four. Four, right? So one, two, three, four. Does everybody see that four is in the denominator? where the of and the whole is, right? Did everybody see that? Now, 3 fourths looks like this. So here I have shaded some pieces to make 3 fourths, right? So how many parts are shaded? Three parts are shaded. Do you, does everybody understand that? So three parts are shaded, that goes in the numerator where the part is. Does everybody see that? No. Okay, that's where this comes up, comes up, where this proportion comes from, okay? Also, if we're looking at a percent over 100. If I have 100% um, of my students, how many students are there? All of them, right? Doesn't matter if it's 100 or if it's 8 or if it's 16, it's all of it, right? It's the whole group, right? So 100% means the whole thing, right? So if I said 70% of the students, right? 70% as a fraction is written 70 over 100. So the 70% is the part of the 100% whole. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, very good. If I had, if I was looking for 50% um, of 100, let's just make it easy. Let's make the numbers easy. So we want to know 50% of 100. So we want to know what number is 50%, oops, oops, what number is 50% of, let's say 120, okay, of 120. So this here, we want to know what is 50% of 120, okay? So we know 50% is, is half of half, right? So what would half of 120 be? 60, okay, so we know that our answer is going to be 60, right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to show you how to use cross multiplication to get that 60, okay? So we're going to set up a proportion based on this what number is question, okay? Does everybody see what I'm solving for? Yeah. It says, it's where it says what number, right? Mm -hmm. So if it says what number, Okay, that is what we're solving for. That's what we don't know yet. That's going to be my x. Okay, that's the x. Now, this says what number is. So if I look at my proportion, where is that going to go? In the top or the bottom? In the top, because there's the is number, right? So if this goes in the numerator, that means we're solving for the part. Does everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, here, 
here, it says of 120. So this is of 120, right? So that is the whole, because that's the of number. Does everybody see that? Now, the 50%, of course, is the the percent, right? Fifty percent, right? So the the percent gets written over a hundred. Okay. So now we're going to set up our proportion. You ready? All right. So, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our percent. That's fifty percent. Is everybody writing this down? Mm -hmm. So the percent goes over one hundred. So we have fifty over 100. The is number goes on top. That's what we're solving for, right? There's my x. The of number goes on the bottom in the denominator. And the of number is 120. Is that clear? So now, we're going to solve it using cross multiplication. Okay? So, when we cross multiply, we're going to follow the arrow. Okay? So, on this side, we're cross multiplying. Right? So, this is going to be 100 times x, or x times 100. Right? So, the way we write that is 100x. That's how we write that. On the other side, over there, what do you think we're going to be multiplying? 50 times 120. So on this side, we have 50 times 120. Is everyone with me? All right, so now let's just simplify that 50 times 120. So on one side here, we still have 100x. We didn't do anything to that. And then on the other side, we have 50 times 120. Anybody know what it is? Here's a new part. You ready? Okay. All right. So this says 100 times x equals 6,000. We want to get the x by itself. So because this says 100 times x, we want to do the opposite operation that you see there. So what's the opposite of multiplication? Divide. Division. So we're going to divide by the number we want to get rid of. Okay? So in this case, we want to get rid of 100. So we're going to divide by 100. And if I divide by 100 on one side, I have to do it to the other side. Everybody with me so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, if I if look at this fraction here, can I simplify 100 over 100? Yeah, those go to oh, ones, right? 100 divided by 100? is 1. So this is 1 over 1, which is 1, right? So what's 1 times x? Very good. 1 times x is x. So for those of you who did not understand what 1 times x was, think about it this way. What's 1 times 2? 2. What's 1 times 8? 8. What's 1 times 15? 15. What's 1 times 65? 65. So what's 1 times x? X. You got it? All right. So now we want to divide 6,000 divided by 100. And we can do the shortcut, canceling out. Very good. So we've got those two and those two, right? So, what's my final answer? 
60, which is what we said to begin with. So here, the cafeteria at Midtown Middle School surveyed 575 students about their favorite food. Find the number of students that responded for each of the following. So here, 20% of the students said salad. Okay, so 20% said salad, right? So 20% of the how many? 575 students said salad, right? So we want to know what that number is, right? So what number is 20% of 575? Does everybody see how I got the question? Yeah. Okay, so let's write that down. So our, our um, what number is question is what number is 20% of 575? Now, we have to identify the is the of and the percent. Okay? Let's start with the percent because that one's always so easy, right? So, there it is right there. 20%. Okay? The is number No, that's the percent. Here, it's the X because it's what number? You see that? We don't even know what it is, right? So here, we're going to solve for the is number. So that is going to be my X. And finally, what's the of number? Five. Very good. So there, oops, I only use green again. Let's use red. So 575 is my of number, right? So now, we're going to put this into the proportion, percent over 100 equals is over of. So now, we're going to put our information into our percent proportion, which is what? Percent over 100 equals is over of. Okay. So we have the percent. So that's 20 over 100, good, equals the is, which is the x, over the of, which is, very good. So now we're going to cross multiply. So. On this side, what do we have? What do we have on the first side? The x times 100, and we're going to write 100x. And that's equal to 20 times 500. Right. Is everybody with me? So, 100x is equal to 11,500. How do I get the x by itself? Divide, Divide by 100. 100. Good. Now, what's the trick to dividing by 100? You take the zeros away, or you just move the decimal two places to the left. left. Very good. So, those hundreds cancel. Those hundreds cancel. And then we can just move this decimal, that's at the end, two places to the left. So what is my final answer there? So x is equal to 115, what's my label? Students. Students. Yeah. Very good. Yeah.